Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel and hi if you're new. My name's Sophie and I'm a flight attendant that does international trips. So today's video is a very asked for video and I have a few on my channel already but this one is the 2023 updated version of Get Ready With Me for work. So I do my hair, I do my makeup and you'll find out what lipstick I use because that is probably the most asked question I get is what is the red lipstick? Every crew has their own preference, and this is my preference. It is very drying, but it's so good. So let's jump back in time before I look like this and get into the video. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so since I started my makeup, I've changed locations. So now I'm gonna run you through what I've done already because this is such better lighting, and then we will carry on. So I started off with the Poor Professional Hydrate Primer, put that on. The foundation that I use is the Beauty Blenders Bounce Skin Tint and I use that in 01. And then concealer is the good old famous KVD in the Light 103. So that's where I'm up to right now. Foundation brush, I'm using the Real Technique 204, stipple that all in and then Concealer is the brush in 300. So that's where we're up to right now. I'm also just gonna say, you are my mirror. I hope I have one, I have a little one here, but it's tiny. And I'm not a makeup artist, so please do not judge me. Do not come after me. Whatever I do, I do because I like it, not because it's right or wrong. Now I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender. It's Mingan, I'm just gonna say and bounce everything in just to make sure it's all blended. I always seem to forget these bits. I do just wanna say as well, I know my neck and here is like really red. It's always red. There is no way of me getting rid of that. It's just red. So it's not because I don't match my face to my neck and all that stuff. It's just red. <laughs> I can't change it. So yeah, I'll bounce all that in just to make sure it's all there. Blended and best that I can do it. I do really like that foundation, well skin tint, because it's not heavy so you can still kind of see my freckles but it does cover up a lot of the redness which is chef's kiss. Now I'll go in with some liquid blush. I use the Rare Beauty one in Hope. If you know, you know I went hunting for this and I'm so glad I got it. I'm not going to use you because this stuff is dangerous. A small amount goes a long way. Let's start with that. Then I'll take the Real, Tec the Real Techniques brush in 200. All my brushes are Real Techniques, by the way. So I got it on an offer and I really like them. I've used these brushes since I was a kid, basically. So I'm probably not gonna change until someone tells me otherwise and find some good ones. So I did two dots on each side, look at it, honestly it goes so, such a long way. And then I'll stipple the excess just over my nose. Does anyone else like pull their blush up here like onto the eyelids? I think my, it was my mum that taught me that and I've always done it. Just adds a bit of dimension into your face. Right, so that is all the liquids done. I did have this, which is the Fenty Beauty's uh, matchstick. Uh, yeah, matchstick and amber, which I wanted to use as like a contour, but I think it's so dry. I don't really like it. And then when you start like buffering it in, it disappears. I think it's because I compare it to this, like the Rare Beauty blush. So I might try and find one in the Rare Beauty realm so that I can try it because otherwise I use eyeshadow, which we will come to. So powder, I use two different ones, but I forgot my loose powder pad thing. So I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte in Translucent 001. And I will use a blush brush in 400, rub it in and then just dab it on. And that is all I do for powder on top. I normally would use the Revolution Translucent. I kind of use this more if I'm going on like a night out or 
somewhere where I want it to like stay. But for work, I'm not that fussed of putting a lot of powder on my face because I sweat a lot in work. We are busy, so I don't worry too much. And I do have a powder, well I have a whole makeup bag in my cabin bag. So if I need anything to top up, I have it all there. So I'm just gonna run this over my whole face. I think this brush is good, but I think it's a little bit too soft for powder. But it works, it does the job. And you can still see that blush there. I get one more brush, I have so many brushes, which is this one. This is the setting brush in 402. Take a little bit of the powder and then run this under my eyes. And try and get rid of any creasing. Not bad. We're doing well. Powder's complete. They can go over there. Now I will put a little bit of contour on, but my trick of the day is a MAC foundation that I use as contour. I use this one in Omega. I cannot remember for the life of me whose video it was that I seen where they were using eyeshadow as contour because what I noticed is a lot of the contours that I was trying to find were very orangey and warm um, because I'm so pale more grey would look better so I went for an eyeshadow and it worked so yeah that's where I got that trick from so I'll just run this underneath where I put the blush very faintly I only want a little bit of definition it's not a night out, it's work, but we do want to look alive. And I want it to last because by the time I get to London, makeup is the one thing I do not want to think about. So I'll just run that round my face just to put a bit of, of a sun-kissed, snatched look. Try and get rid of the double chin. Mm-hmm. Ever so faint, but honestly it makes such a difference. Run it over the sides of my nose. And then we are on to a bit of powder blush just to lock in the blush blush. And if you're not sure, it's the same one. Ever since I've started this lemon channel, <laughs> I've had the same blush, blusher blush. And it's still going very strong. I know it's probably like five years out of date. Don't really care. I'll go in with the same blusher brush that I used before, liquid powder. I know you shouldn't mix, but I do. And I'll just go over just to make sure it is intense. I like my blusher to be visible. And I always stipple stuff. I don't know why, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I find that it doesn't like remove any of the under products. I think that's an actual thing. It's definitely visible, Sophie. It's definitely visible. I don't know if it is on there, but it is in real life. <laughs> so, that's complete. Now I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows. And as we're aware, eyebrows are the worst thing for me because my eyebrows are not odd. No, my eyebrows are not even. My eyebrows are far from even. So I'll take the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This one in three, and then I've just got an NYX spoolie and then after i've done that i'll put some of the nyx control freak clear gel on top to make sure they are staying in place so i'm gonna go do that off camera and then i'll come back and we will continue getting ready this room is so hot if you watch the durban video you'll know how much i was complaining about my room being so warm and the ac is really loud so i've had to turn it off to film this video i'm sweating Safe to say, I'm hot. I'm back, eyebrows are complete. They are done, now it's time for eyeshadow. I use the Barry M Rose Tinted Eyeshadow Palette. This one. It's a semi-new purchase for me. And I really like it because it's small as well. Perfect to fit in my makeup bag. So I will start with using Budding, this one, on a MAC brush think yeah it says two 
086, I think it says, maybe. Uh, I'll just run this all over my eyelids, basically, just to give it some color, because eyeshadow or eyeliner is one of the minimum requirements for makeup for work. And I choose eyeshadow. I think it's more fun. Not neat when I do my eyeshadow. I just hope for the best, basically. And if it looks good, it'll do. So, that's step one complete. Then I'll take a, it's the Essential Crease Brush number 310. And I'll take the, what is it? The bloomed color, which is this one right here. And I'll put that in like the eyelid section. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do makeup, but I like it. So I'll just, just so it's a bit more intense on the eyelids. And then I'll just blend it up ever so slightly. And then I'll take the MAC brush from before and I'll just run that underneath with any excess that's on it. Sometimes there's something there, sometimes there's not. Yep. Yeah. And that's eyeshadow complete. I'm very simple with my eyeshadow. But I did find that palette, it was so random. But I love the colours. I think it really works well with blue eyes. I don't know if that's an actual thing or not, but it's something I'm adding in. Now time for a bit of highlighter. I did forget my setting powder. I'm so annoyed. It's on my dressing table because I was using it obviously to get ready for this trip. And I forgot to pack it. But I normally use the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'll leave it linked below. But yeah, I normally use that before I put my highlighter on. But I'll use this tiny, this brush. And I'll put it in like the inner corners and on the arch of it, so my brows. A bit there and a bit up there. And on the other side. And a bit there and a bit there. Then I'll use a fan brush in 404. This one, I'm trying to like. The uh, highlighter is the cookies one from Benefit. This one. I never really liked gold. Um, Highlighters, I always went for like silver or like colour shifting ones, but this one's actually really nice and it stays forever. And it's kind of like, oh yeah, you can see that. Oh yeah, you can see it. Run it across the top, a little bit on my nose, and then I always put a bit here, just like the extra. But you can definitely see that. Wow. Ooh la la. It's such a good little uh, highlight there. I would highly recommend that one. Then where are we up to? I think there's just mascara left now. I'm just packing my bag up as I talk to you. So mascara of choice is one I got for Christmas. I like it. I do not love it. It's the MAC Magic Extension in the black one. It was so nice, right? And I don't know if it's just the one I got or what happened to it. But it's gone really clumpy and it doesn't like, I don't know how to explain it, like in here, it's just, yeah, it's a bit meh. Um, but yes, I use this one at the minute because I'm not going to waste it. I've got some eyelash curlers, so I'm going to do my eye mascara. It's the only mascara you have, Sophie. Why was that so weird to say? Let me curl my eyelashes. I never used to curl my eyelashes actually, but... It makes such a difference. It is also terrifying to curl your eyelashes. It really scares me. I always have this fear that your eyelashes are gonna come off when you take the eyelash curler off. Does anyone else have that horrible fear? <laughs> Was it just me? Probably just me. Put some of this on. I'm very light with it. Again, cause like, I don't know if it's just the one I've got. But it comes out and it's very clumpy. Like I'm barely touching my eyelashes. But look at the difference from one coat. It's such a good mascara. I really like it, but yeah, that is the only downside that it's clumpy and it can sometimes go like spider's legs is not what you want with your mascara in 2023 and that is my makeup complete again i'd normally put some setting spray on right now 
don't have it with me. Not ideal. Can't believe I forgot it. And I knew I was going to film this video while I was here. And I still forgot it. Yeah. Aren't I a genius? And then a top tip of mine. My brushes go into a Ziploc bag. Because I do not want them to dare to the inside of my makeup bag. And the makeup bag of choice. Is this little bad boy from Amazon. It opens like that. I'll uh, leave it linked below as well and I'll try my best, I'll try to link UK links and US links for everything that I've just used on my face. Hopefully I can uh, because I know I mainly do UK links but I have like 50-50 UK, US so I'll try to do the US as well. Right now I need to do my hair. It is time to tackle this hair. It's obviously not the curliest it's ever been because it's like four or five day old hair now but that means it's a lot easier to get up now i've said that it's probably going to be virtually impossible let me go grab my clips and then i'll be back i'm trying to like balance my mirror so that i can kind of see what i'm doing okay so for my hair at the minute i do a french twist french roll whatever you want to call it just because my layers are a little bit too short to fit into a donut so this is where the challenge is I use some, obviously I use clips, but I have big clips and I have tiny clips. What do I normally do? I normally hope for the best and whatever works, works. I'll take, I've got a mirror there as well, bye bye. I'll take all my hair, ideally backwards, like so. Make sure it's evenly distributed. So basically it's in like a ponytail, like this, with all my little layers sticking out. And then I'll twist it upwards and tuck it in. There's no actual good way to show you this because the lighting is not the one in this hotel. And then my little tail there at the top, I'll tuck into it. I'm aware this falls out, but we deal with that later. Then I'll take the longer clips out of the lot and secure the main twisty part two and then I put one near the bottom so basically just three clips for now to secure that just so I can let go of it right then we have to deal with this this is the fun part so because this bit is obviously pulled upwards I try and make it look like it's all together and I'll manipulate it to go backwards and then like into it so it looks like it's supposed to be there and at this point is where I get stressed out because the curls don't want to like go neatly into where they're supposed to be and it's really frustrating. Honestly, having short hair, I really like it, but then part of me is like, I want my long hair back. I really do miss my long hair. I love the short layers because it does give it so much more volume, but I do love the thickness of it when it's long and just full of life so I think I'm gonna grow it back out right now I've got like all this bit and I'm aware this it's like over here but it always does that it's fine now I take another clip and I'll just manipulate the side bit okay so that's one section then we'll take a small clip and we'll sort this section out I can see here that all this is like not really secured. So this is where all the small clips come in and I'll pinch it together and I'll put the clip inwards instead of like across my head. Then I obviously have my little curl that never wants to leave my side. I take a little clip and this is where I'll secure this side. Basically copy and paste of what I've done here. I'll do here. But this is a lot easier to hide because I can hide it in the fold. The twist of the hair, whatever you want to call it. So that goes there. I really hate having the tops of my ears out. I don't know why, it's just like a, a thing I have with myself. I really don't like having my ears out. So I always try and cover the tops. Sometimes they do peek out. What's that? See? Um, this is why I always have loads of clips. And then I'll just take... A small clip, do the same up, I kind of like stab it into the hair instead of like along the hair 
makes it less visible to be fair then I've still got some longer clips and now I'm going to go in and fully secure the three clips that I did to hold the rest of my hair up because I can feel that that is not fully secure so I kind of like open it up slightly tuck the hair in here and then I'll twist it and pull it under I really wish I could like show you this from behind I think maybe next time I go home or I have a flight to the UK I'll get my sister to help me film like an actual get ready with me and you'll be able to see it from the back hopefully the last small clip and I do it on this bottom bit here because this bit likes to fall out so I'll just make sure it's fully twisted and then go up to hold that in place then I do a quick shake test like I can feel that this is quite loose so I'll secure it I think I can see it there that bit is quite st and there it is so I'll take that stretch it back try and make it look as uniformed as possible and secure a lot of people actually do say to me why don't I just pull my hair back and I don't want to and I've gone through a lot with work to allow me to have my hair the way I do so I'm not gonna do that yeah then I'll just keep pinning the bits that I can feel that aren't really where they're supposed to be. I do have two clips left, so if I need it when I'm getting ready, I can put them in. And then hairspray of choice is not this one. This is the Sios Max Hold Hairspray. My hairspray of choice is the got to be, oh my God, what's it called? Like Max Hold or like strong or glued, glued, glued something. That one is the hairspray that I will be with me until the day I die. But for traveling, that one is not good because it doesn't have a lid. So if it, you put it next to something that can like knock the nozzle, then your hairspray is gone. And that's happened to me many a time. So this is the hairspray I use for work because it has a lid that cannot attach the nozzle. I'll just use this hairspray all my babies away, push back any flyaways. To be fair, this is a good hairspray. I just don't like the feeling that it gives your hair. Like, I know the got to be is like glue, and to get rid of it, you do need to wash your hair, but it holds it really well, so that it will last a few days, where this doesn't really hold that well, and it just gives your hair like a, a weird texture that I don't like. So yes, that is my hair complete. Sorry that I was like looking down that whole time, but I am actually getting ready to go to work. So I want to make sure it's okay. So I'm going to go and get dressed and I will be right back with you. I'm dressed, I'm done. Now it is time for lipstick and we are aware lipstick of choice is the Too Faced Matte, Melted Matte, sorry, liquid lipstick in Lady Balls. Lip liner of choice today is the Kiko one in Smart. Honestly, I have no preference in lip liners. Just whichever one I can get my hands on first is the one I use. So, let me, how, I don't know how you do this like while talking, so let's speed this up, Sophie. like that I'm ready to go to work hair makeup complete so I hope you have enjoyed just again I'm not a makeup artist I'm not a hairstylist I do whatever I like and I like what I do so if you're interested in travel content lifestyle content anything about me hit the subscribe button give the video a like if you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.